Hello, good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is uh, Crip Yuson hosting this particular segment of Talk News TV, the 8.45 to 9.30 p.m. Monday night uh, episode. Uh, it's actually, uh, you might call it a spin-off uh, from a particular show we did, a program about three or four weeks back, when we guested two very distinctive personalities in the art scene. And those were the husband and wife team of Cesare A.X. Sihuko and Jean-Marie Sihuko, my compadre and comadre. For tonight, uh, we, I have for my guests uh, two lovely ladies, the first and third daughters of Jean-Marie and Cesare. Uh, those whose acts all over Metro Manila venues are the most awaited by the usual camp followers of performance <laughs> poetry. Hello, good evening, good ladies. Evening. Yeah. Hi, uh, Miki. Yes. Uh, we should start with you, not by virtue of age, <laughs> but because of the fact that the reason why I invited you here was so you could expound some more on this particular show or exhibit uh, mm. called Armadillon. Yes. yes, Armadillon. <laughs> I myself was very impressed, ladies and gentlemen, when I walked in and I see this large uh i don't know how to describe it a panel a bar relief a sculptural <laughs> installation horizontal uh that featured a lot of ivory hands yes. right sculpted hands mm -hmm. wearing the pieces of jewelry that uh, mickey here has uh created for the show and uh collaborating with her sister for that exhibit was maxine in terms of uh, displaying uh, very attractive art pieces <laughs> herself, light boxes of photographs that self she took. Self-portraits. Uh, she took herself, of course, because it's a self-portrait. <laughs> I've been speaking too much. Perhaps it's high time <laughs> that we give the floor to Micheline or Mickey and explain what her jewelry is all about. Okay, well, um, my jewelry, um, they're actually miniature sculptures. Yes. Um, I started making these probably after college. Um, I was making miniature sculptures made of tin cans. Uh -huh. mm. And then soon I started incorporating semi-precious stones like mm. amethyst. And one day I thought to myself, you know, why don't I weld this onto a bracelet, mm -hmm. you know, so I can wear it. Now we're seeing them on, t on television, we're seeing them on the screen, yes. uh, samples of your distinctive jewelry pieces. Go on, go on. Make yes, it. and uh. so um, I made one out of tin can and um, people just started to rave about it. I mean, everywhere I'd go, people would say, where did you get that? You know, what store did you get that from? Did you <laughs> buy that abroad? You yes. know, and I'd say, no, I made that myself. Mm -hmm. And so even Maxine's friends, you know, they were asking, oh, can we order? Is that made to order? I mean, how much is it going to cost? You know, and all of this. So I decided to explore it more. And I decided to experiment using different kinds of metals, oh. like brass, sterling okay. silver. Yeah. But, but is it easy to, to take it off? Uh, take it off, yes. Yeah, perhaps we can, mm -hmm. we can have, a, sure. <laughs> we can have it, uh, a close-up shot of this in camera. Uh, yeah, this is a sample of, this is brass, isn't it? This is brass, hammered brass. Hammered it's brass. then yeah. plated in silver. Uh -huh. um, it's oxidized and distressed, which is why it has that unique finish. I see. Um, yeah. The stones are pyrite, and that's mined locally okay. in our mountain it's provinces. It's uh, fool's gold, right? Yes, pyrite fool's gold. Is fool's gold. <laughs> yeah. That's a large lump. Or did you, <laughs> did you, did you glue the, the pyrite together or pieces No, no, of no. Pyrite? That's one whole piece. I usually right? buy them in bulk and yeah, then I just yeah. have to break them right, into the yeah. right pieces. How long does it take you to Okay, that's the thing. Put together Some piece pieces, like um, they usually have to undergo, undergo a process, yeah. which is, you know, the hammering, the plating, yeah, the yeah. distressing, oxidizing. oxidizing yeah. Yeah. And sometimes if it doesn't come out right, I do it all over again. Uh -huh. So some of them have been plated multiple times and some of them, you know, come out really nice after the first process. So I have works that are still, you know, works in progress. Oh, that's very, th that's fascinating actually. Uh, you know, any art process that involves what you might call 
trial and error. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's what makes it unique, yes, each piece. Yes. I mean, if you own a piece of my jewelry, you're not going to bump into someone else wearing the exact yeah, same yeah, piece. Right. Now, it's not all bracelets, is it? No, I make everything. Rings, Can, can you show them the ring? Can, uh, okay. This ring is paired <laughs> with the bracelet, isn't it? Yes, yeah. and also the earrings. Though ah. the earrings, um, these earrings have bullet shells. These bullet are shells. 22 caliber bullet shells. Oh, this shells. one's, this yes. one's, the small one's. Yes. Yeah. And, um, they won't allow pearls. you in Singapore with these, you know? <laughs> uh, honestly, well, you uh, know, I was inspired. <laughs> <laughs> I was inspired because, you know, um, like our local anting antings, right? Yes, Supposedly yes. are made from melted bullet That's shells, right. you That's know? Right. So yeah, yeah. It, this actually becomes a power object. That's great. That's great. Yeah. And what are these stones? Um, those like are pearls. pearls. Yes, yeah. they're pearls. Real pearls. I actually yeah. like to combine things. They say you can tell when a pearl is real by biting on it. Yes, right? it's true. <laughs> the top kind of um, becomes powdery. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I also learned only recently, in, in China no less, that uh, certain personages in history, certain famous ladies, uh, kept their youth and vitality by actually ingesting pearl powder. Well, I heard about that in China, yes, actually, when I went the on the tour. Yes. Yeah. And I hear Cleopatra yeah. as well. Yeah. Though Beautiful. I've never tried yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how many, how many, what year was this when you seriously I started? I started um, the collection about a year and a half ago. Only? Only yes, a year and a half a ago. a year and a half ago. And going back to the question, how long would it then take you to complete one bracelet like this? 